Welcome back to a and E's Live by Request. And as so many of you out there are telling us via email and uh, the phone, Carlos Santana's been an important part of your life since, well, I'll tell you, since Woodstock. I remember the rain chant and all of that, and my father even said, this Carlos Santana is pretty good, which I thought was pretty cool. Also played 1969 at Woodstock, 1994 at Woodstock. Also Fillmore East, people remember you from that. 37th album coming out in just a couple of days. I have to ask you, over 30-odd years, You've remained at a very high creative peak. How do you do it? Um, God's grace, inspiration, and basically being around women. My wife, my, my two daughters, my four sisters, my mom. You know, a lot of men, but basically the women keep me <laughs> happening. And the women love hearing that out there. It's true. Everybody knows it's true. It is true. It is true. Shall we take another call? This is Jorge from Tucumán, Argentina. Say hi to Carlos Santana. Uh, hello, Carlos. Hola. I can't believe it. ¿Cómo estamos? Uh, bien, bien. Uh, what do you want? Uh, speak in English or Spanish? No, Spanish. Spanish. Uh, You're in America now. Speak uh, Spanish. Uh, bueno, uh, Carlos, no puedo creer que esté hablando orale, contigo. Orale. 30 años. Te Mucha... vi hace 30 años en los Estados Unidos. Muchas gracias. Uh, no sé cómo explicar este momento por la tecnología, Carlos, pero es increíble que te esté escuchando. Uh, todos gracias a Dios habla con el corazón y no hay problema estoy tratando <ríe> estoy tratando eh, Carlos mira eh, te eh, quería pedir eh, un tema muy clásico oye cómo va cómo no con todo gusto oye cómo va
como va. Y'all can sit down just a little bit. Can we talk about some of the early days, the man who gave you your first big break? Phil Maurice, man. Bill Graham became your manager in 1975. <laughs> when I ask a little story, the, the, the rumor is that you met Bill Graham sneaking into the Phil Maurice. Is that true? Many times. <laughs> I mean, you know, I, I was washing dishes at the time, and, and I only have enough money to go see Jimi Hendrix once, but he had two, two shows a night. So, you know, to see Cream and Jimi Hendrix and, you know, you, I had to sneak in, you know? <laughs> and the rest is history, as they say. What would you want everyone to know about the legendary Bill Graham? Bill Graham was an important uh, supreme general in the field of uh, making music be available to all people. He used to say, if you want to see the Grateful Dead, you must see Miles Davis first. If you want to see Santana, you got to see Roland Kirk. If you, ha if you want to see 10 years after, you will have to see uh, Buddy Rich. So because of Bill Graham, he said it's important that, that young youngsters Eat, eat their uh, ice cream, but first you have to have the, 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 the vegetables, and, you know, <laughs> which is like jazz or whatever, you know. But anyway, he had a beautiful way of uh, uh, putting things in perspective that, that it was important for young people to, to be rounded and not just to listen to pop candy stuff, you know, but also to listen to the deep stuff, the Coltrane. Of course. There you go. You know, and Miles Davis and, you know, like that. And, and so uh, we all Bill Graham a lot because he expanded he helped in San Francisco uh, revolutionize consciousness revolution uh, by uh, promoting uh, people like Jimi Hendrix, Charles Lloyd, you know, Jan Janis Joplin and, and Ravi Shankar. It was all music. It wasn't like, it wasn't cookie cutter stuff. It was all just music period. You know, women all the time also, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't just one thing. Well, we have one of his sons in the audience, David Graham. Could you stand up for a second, David? Thank you for being with us. How you doing, Carlos? <laughs> Happy to see you. Good to see you. Thank you. It's a real pleasure to hear all of you play. Um, Carlos, you're the world's greatest guitar player, but amazingly, you're an even greater person. And um, we and my father love you very much. He, um, he grew up on Latin music here in New York City and in later years, your music. So I would be honored if I could hear a song that you played when you first met him called Evil Ways. Oh. How does that fit into with you and his dad? Well, Bill Graham called us to his office one time and he says, you know, I want you guys to, to, talk, to come over here and talk to me. And we said, well, what's up? He says, you know, all your songs sound the same, like jams, and there's no, there's no chorus or bridge or nothing. You know, it's just jams, you know? So here's the song I want you to learn. It was a song by Willie Bobo. It's called Evil Ways. Here you go.
Evil ways, baby. I'm gonna introduce you to someone. This is Davy Crockett. He for the